Well, we're going to do a little shortened version of it tonight because we've got so much going on, but we've got to get into just a little bit of it. And here's the deal. I have about a thousand emails, phone calls, postcards, letters, and just every day. It's amazing how many of you have taken to this project. I didn't realize what we were starting, but I'm thrilled about it. And we're starting out with modules on this thing. We built the power supply. And remember, I told you we were going to come there, come around and the power supply, we had to build the preamp first. Let me get this all out here. Uh, this is not NBC, so we don't have a really super duper production. <laughs> but you know what? That's what makes it fun. Uh, here's the power supply that some of you have already built. And keep in mind that there are some things about it that you want to pay very close attention to. One of them is the fact that we have 300 volts in this thing. And we want to make sure you understand that you've got to build the chip stick. Remember the chip stick. And when you think you turn this thing off, it's not off. Chip, K9MIT, one of the great chat chat room uh, participants each night came up with this and then ka7tph came up with this little guy you find the ground wire and before you do anything you go over here and short out this whole power supply it's hanging on there for uh, 30 seconds and it'll all be gone now remember i told you that we were going to do something a little little more remember the uh the power supply looked like this, but I knew we were probably going to do another cap, and we did. But I couldn't do it until I had to load on it. So we're going to add, in that space we had, another capacitor. And it really doesn't make any difference if it's 16 mics, 20 mics, 25, but it has to be a 450 volts and a dropping resistor. So now we have that going on. You want to add that resistor and, and uh, we'll be covering that next week very thoroughly uh, on the power supply additions. But there it is right there. You need a 10K resistor and the, the other capacitor. What I did this week, and we're not going to dwell on it an awful lot yet because I want everybody to understand the power supply and get it working really well. But this is what we're going to be working on next. This is the preamp, and it works really well. Next next week, I'll plug it in and let you hear it, and I'll put it, uh, put it to its task, but it works great. I don't have this plugged in now, so I'm okay. I should have uh, shorted the power supply out with my other lead, but I did that earlier, so I, I hadn't been turned on. The 12AX7, we come out of here with... Uh, this comes out at about 100 and I think I came up with 20 volts because of all the, the, the new uh, uh, ca capacitor and resistor uh, uh, sequences. We get to drop that voltage down to where we needed it. Six volts is the filament. Green is the filament and ground. And then we have some bypass caps here to make sure it doesn't harm. We drop it down again. We'll get into all this next week. We have a wonderful, wonderful thing happening from different people that have done some marvelous work with the diagrams. Look at this. This is just wonderful. And I thank these guys for doing this. Let me get that up on the camera. Look at this. Put you all the parts. And we're, we'll get this to you. This is, on, this is the uh, preamp. But I don't want you to jump ahead. I want to make sure we all understand what's going on with the power supply. It's very important. We don't want to uh, to cause any problems here. We want to make sure this is – because this is the heart of it. And if you're going to do this project, you build that power supply and get it working really well. And uh, we'll go through some, uh, some more of that next week. But I wanted to – I wanted to show you a few things. This is this really makes me feel great. I got 
lots of pictures. Here's one. Check this out from Gene. He's the guy that did those wonderful drawings. Look at his power supply. Oh, man. He did this right. I'm sorry this camera is all moving around tonight because I only have one camera here with me. But that's what he did. He uh, put a little plexiglass front on it. And he's using spade lugs. He did this really right. But see, he didn't know about the next capacitor, but he's got room to do that so he can get that voltage down where we need it. And we're going to cover all of this next week, but go ahead and do this part and you'll be, you'll be ready to rock and roll. Some of the other pictures that I got have just been wonderful. One of my favorites, remember I told you about antique electronic supply. They have a power supply. You could build this instead of what we've shown. This is great because it comes with all the parts, the transformer, all the caps, but it produces all of these different voltages, 25, 45, 67, 90, 135, 1 to 2, all the way out to 6-volt filaments. All of that's in there, and they give you all the parts on pine board. <laughs> this is great. But here's what Jason did. And this just warms my heart, everybody. Jason took that power supply and he built a receiver. There's the power supply and the receiver. But look what he did to it. See, when you're building stuff, you can think ahead and do stuff. He took all of those voltages that came out of that power supply. So he's got a really cool bench supply. And what's behind there is this supply. I think that darn thing's like 49 or 50 bucks. Antique radio supply. That would be really cool because if you're going to start building a few things, you got it covered right here. What a nice job, Jace. Thank you very much. And then I told you about Don VE3LYX. He built another version of the transmitter and he, here's another yet version he's a real pine board expert he's been doing this a while but these are all the different things that you can do with the ideas that we're coming up with here every week but i wanted to give you this this really important thing i am embarrassed i am embarrassed because I told you that you could go to antique or to ICM and get the crystals. They promised me because they were going to be closing. They promised me because I know the people there. They said, no, we'll take the orders till the end of April. Well, they didn't. And so a lot of people have been writing me. Of course they would. What are we going to do? Well, that's what you do. You go down to my friend Bry. We should have went there in the first place. AF4K. Look up his site. He's got a ton of things. AF4K. There's where you get your crystals. And not only does he have the crystals, they're the old style FT243, which a lot of people, including ICM, told me, no, we don't make those. You can't get them anymore. Oh, he's got tons of them, and he will make you whatever you want. You want them on 3885, 3880, or on 40 meters, 7290. We've covered some of that before, but that's what you want to do. Go to AF4K. You also want to dial up the AM phone. That's amfone.net for you uh, listening on uh, shortwave. It, it, that's an incredible, rich uh, source of everything. I mean, there's all kinds of, of things going on there. To get vacuum tubes, you go to this one. There's a lot of sales for vacuum tubes, but go to vacuumtubes.com. Yeah, he's really the, really the best. The giant is Antique Electronic Supply. They have everything. So for all you doom and gloomers that tell Bob Heil, you shouldn't have done this because you can't get parts. I got news for you. You can buy every part of this and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of old radios, receivers, right there. Antique electronic supply. 
So those are some of the things that I wanted to show you. And in closing, here is what I did to the power supply. So if you guys and gals that are building the so supply, I don't want any emails telling me how bad my video and my cameras were tonight. <laughs> I'm in the plant. I only have one camera and it's one of those things. But we're cool. We got it. This is what we did. Originally, I did that just to get it going. But then found out after I put the load on it, we have to put this other capacitor and a 10K resistor. So we come out of here at about 300 volts. We drop it with a 25K, filter it before, filter it after. We go through another 10K, drop it down a little more, and filter that. And that gives you exactly what you need to make that power supply do its thing. So that's, that's pretty much the story uh, of, of what's been going on. I appreciate so much all of you writing me and, and, and calling me. I'm talking to a lot of you on the air, so that's cool. The last thing to remember is this. We are dealing with 300 volts. No, you're not going to get crazy, but you're going to take a little care. Keep one hand in your pocket and get the chip stick built because that's where it's at. You want to be able to short those capacitors long after that baby's been unplugged from the wall. And just be careful. Just be careful. So that's, that's my story for the day. Write me. Call me. Please get involved. Last but not least, I got to Sweet Letter. I might have mentioned this last week that one of the guys is starting to build this and he, his daughter has a license, but she really didn't get very active. But when, when he started building this pine board project, she wants to build one too. So that's happening. I had another letter from a guy, his nephew. They weren't interested in radio. Well, they had their license, but meh, you know, two meter handy talk, he was it. Now, oh, so that's, that is the joy that I get from it. So thanks very, very much, everybody. It's, it's just been a rewarding thing for me. I, uh, I spend a lot of time <laughs> making this all happen, but that's okay. That's okay.